when I was uh, again researching the first book, uh, I certainly was interested in the folklore surrounding it. Um, uh, Helen Creighton, uh, of course, is a famous uh, uh, folklorist in, in, in Nova Scotia, and had uh, several, in, in a couple of her books, had written accounts of people seeing strange lights at night on Oak Island. Uh, this is back in the, uh, in the 19th century, and uh, early 19th century, and uh, seeing a mysterious dog with fiery red eyes, uh, seeing black crows, and of course because of the, I guess, the Celtic background of many people, uh, there are certain superstitions tied in with things like crows and, and things. So um, uh, it didn't surprise me that an island that had some mystery behind it, where perhaps pirates buried treasure or whatever, uh, would create all of that stuff. But most of it, I'm sure, was folklore. Uh, I have spoken to some people who've, who've lived on the island, who have seen strange things. Um, and uh, uh, one person who lived on the island for 21 years uh, uh, actually went quite mad uh, one night and uh, left the island. And he, he has been back since. But uh, he saw strange things under it or felt that there were ghosts on the island. So it's because of the mysterious nature of the island and the fact that somebody was there, and I certainly know that has to be true, someone was there uh, hundreds of years ago and did something, uh, uh, an engineering feat, which is quite amazing, and presumed to hide something, that certainly would give rise to all kinds of mythology. And, um, so the, the story, and you'll still hear stories today in the, the Western Shore area of uh, people who say, you know, I wouldn't set foot on the island because they say there are strange things there. I once, uh, when I was living in this area, uh, walked across the island in the dark uh, in a fog once, and I started getting spooked myself, hearing strange noises and fluttering things and so on. Um, so uh, at night, you know, when the wind's going through the trees, and you know the story behind the island, and that there were people, uh, perhaps, uh, who died burying the treasure on the island, it's pretty easy to get spooked.